So hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Python video. So today I'm here to propose to you a coding challenge. What you ask to the user, what is the successor and the predecessor number? So what I'm trying to do here is what I'm expecting to to write here is if a user enter with a number like the five and I'm expecting to see the number four as a predecessor and the number six as a successor. So First of all, I have to declare a variable here, and I will start now writing this this coding. So, first of all, I will declare my variable. My variable, the name will be something like a number. It can be anything you want, and but just the variable name. It can be anything you want. Uh, the the coding, I think the right hand side cannot be. <laughs> so, the first of all, I will convert this to an integer because we have to do some mathematics operations here and I will sum the input function here just to the user enter with a value to us so enter with the number oh, oops with the number okay a space and now close these two brackets so now I will need three more lines and in the first line I will have the n1 for example and this n1 which will be the predecessor it will be number minus one and now the successor will be number two the number plus one okay now I have the number minus one and the number plus one the number plus one will be the successor. This is the mathematical concept of the successor. And number minus one it is, is the math oh fuck the mathematical concept of the this representation. So now I will write the print function, and inside this print function, I will write all the code what I need to solve this problem. So now I will write something like checking the number braces the braces here in my keyboard here in Brazil we have the a b and t2 is the the rules on you know the the keyboards or something like this I use the shift and the square brackets when you enter with shift and square brackets you can invoke the, the braces so checking the number braces their predecessor is braces your successor is braces what is this braces so we have the format function and when you use braces usually we summon this format function at the same time so here I have the number okay the number first of all and now I will have the number one and then the number two you have to close these three brackets oh this these two brackets and I can use in something like this number one and this number two we have other ways to to write all this code uh, like I can just delete here uh, and do this operation inside this format but I will do this at this at this way so what we have in this code is the number variable declared and we convert just in an integer summon the input function and then do some operations here and then we summon the print function and this in the right hand side we have the format function to use these braces okay and if I run this let's let's see okay enter with a number if I enter with the number five I'm expecting to see the number six and if the, the number four so five checking the number five the predecessor is four uh, and uh, and your successor is six so that's it that was the coding challenge and um, I'm, I'm just trying to do some coding challenges here and you can comment a coding challenge what you want to see and we will try to 
record these here in this channel. So thanks for watching and that's it.